Okay, so hello there everyone and welcome back to Thinking with Jen. I'm Jen. Spectacular Shelby. Hello. Of course. Popular Prince. We'll introduce him later. He's chillaxing. You know why? Because we're grilling and chilling today. It might look like a great day to you, but guess what? It's the perfect rolling weather. You know why? Because it's not raining. It's beautiful outside and I'm not going to sweat. So. What we're gonna make for you today is gonna be a, it's grilled chicken, grilled chicken, boneless, skinless chicken breast. And I have made a wonderful mango pineapple salsa to go with it that we're gonna put on top that Shelby is gonna tell you all the ingredients you need and how to make it super simple, super easy. And also the chicken that we've done, I have marinated for you right here beautiful there's some beautiful breasts here all i did in the morning i did some fresh lime juice i did some fresh oranges fresh i also did a little squeezed mango and some pineapple juice and then all i did is i let it set in my bowl with my breasts and then when i cook it i'm going to show you how and while i'm getting a little more things prepared Shelly is going to talk about this wonderful mango pineapple salsa that we're going to make to go over it and as a side dish. The ingredients you need for this delicious pineapple mango salsa is a half cup fresh cut pineapple, half a cup fresh chopped mango, half a cup salsa, dealer's choice, any salsa, a fourth a cup of orange juice, two dashes of hot sauce. Once you have all your ingredients together, you're going to pulse for about five seconds in your blender or magic bullet. So what I have now is my, I got my girl going already. What I did, and I'm gonna leave it open as I preheated it, started my little gas grill, and I'm gonna leave it open. I don't ever like to shut my grill and let it heat up. Bad stories, unclean grill, fire started, not a good thing. So I always leave my grill open while I'm preheating. I did a little spray on here, Weber nonstick grill spray. Works perfectly. Even though I am, for the most part, I'm gonna cook my chicken in foil so that all my juices keep my chicken juiced. So since I have my chicken already in my foil, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda close it up just a bit, but I'm gonna keep it open and closed at the same time, if that makes sense. I'm gonna plop this bad boy right on my grill. Now I am gonna close my grill to get my chicken cooking. I've already had my grill preheating with it open, so anything that's left over, it's already burnt off. So no fires here, folks. So basically what you wanna do, cause of course you want that internal temperature of your chicken to be at 165 degrees. Again, these are boneless, skinless breasts. I'm gonna cook it for roughly 15, 16 minutes or so. I'm gonna leave a little bit of time because I, it is grilled chicken. I want those gorgeous grill marks. So I'm gonna show you how to do that after your chicken's just about done when you got about a minute or two left to cook. We're gonna stick it right on the grill and we're gonna get our beautiful grill marks. Next, we're gonna roll that beautiful grill footage. While the chicken is grilling, we are going to prepare our salsa that I told you guys about. <coughs> okay, so now it's been about 14, 15 minutes, but who's counting? 
My chicken is done. I wanna get those beautiful grill marks. After all, this is grilled chicken. We're not gonna be outside grilling and chilling much longer. So for a moment, I guess more than a moment, but who's counting? We're just gonna stick our chicken right on our grill and give it a quick flip. Now while that grill marking, Mm -hmm. I'm also gonna turn my heat down just a little bit. I oh, remember the chicken's cooked. Don't want it drying out. I basically just want those gorgeous grill marks. Now, I know you remember about the salsa that Shelby told you about, obviously, because she's so great at her job. What I have for you here, because we're only we only used a half a cup of fresh cut mango, half a cup of fresh cut pineapple. Obviously, I've got some left over that I'm going to grill. And just like the chicken, you've got to give your fruit a quick flip. You want the grill mark. And for all of you out there saying fruit does, isn't made to be grilled, try it. You'll like it. Mikey likes it. Guarantee it. I'm going to show you. This is a little... This is the salsa that we're making. That's gonna be our dipping sauce. We're gonna put this right over our chicken. And remember, we made it actually in our magic bullet. You do it in your blender. You can just put it in a little, little smaller container. Now, let's check on this beautiful grill footage. Just do it more. Chicken is starting to get those gorgeous grill marks. Guess that means we're doing good. Pineapple, mango, and our mango. Again, we got a little grillage going on. So now our fruit has some gorgeous grill marks. Now remember, your fruit's already Cooked. I guess not cooked. Your fruit's already fruited. So all you're doing is warming it up. You're not cooking it. You're not torching it. You just want a little warmth to your plate. All right, guys. So there you have it. What it is, it's a nice, fresh, citrus, grilled chicken breast, boneless, skinless. We use some mango. We use some pineapple. We use some fresh orange juice, some fresh lime. Can't go wrong with that. Once again, you're watching Cooking with Jen. I'm Jen, kind and subscribe. And guess what? We will all see you next time.